Um, I actually highly recommend that if you're a product manager, regardless of your level, um, you should do some form of consulting. Because in my mind, it really, really, really helps grow and stretch those soft skills. Like, you know how to be, we, like, we all know, like product managers know how to be product managers. Like, okay, we have a backlog. I know how to, I have my roadmap. I know how to prioritize and, and I own my product. And I'm, I, I could be religious about looking at my data and my analytics and the other stuff like that. But it's the soft skills that I have found that's what gets you to like move up into that level of really being a product leader. Because it's not about the day to day. Like nobody, it's going to be blasphemous, but like nobody cares how your Jira stories are written. Like nobody cares if you want to keep, if you want to move on to your career, you know, again, it's the outcomes over the outputs. And the only way that you can start learning and focusing on those outcomes is it's, it's stakeholder management, it's strategy, it's, it's, you know, diplomacy and negotiating and like really trying to think of that big picture of like, okay, how can we create this experience that will actually create real value? What is that real value? Let's start talking about that and let's go into it, understanding their pain points. Um, but yeah, and with consultancy, it is, it's, it's, it's 70% soft skills. It's like you have like, and this is what I've told every single product manager in previous a digital agencies that I've worked with that I've hired from product companies. I go, the biggest hurdle you're going to have to get over when you are a consultant as a product consultant is it's not your product. You're, you're going to have to give the baby back. And that's tough for a lot of people because I, I mean, listen, we're all us product managers, whether we want to admit it or not, are massively egotistical if you haven't picked that up because it's ours. Like we made this. This is mine. You can't, don't tell me it's wrong. The data says it's right. It's like, but you need to be able, you get to the certain threshold where you wake up one morning and go, you know what? It's not about me. It's about my user. It's about my customer. It's about that an experience. It's not about me. And, and I highly recommend whether you're doing it for fun because you have friends who work at companies and they want to pick your brain, or if you want to do it formally and kind of do your own thing, or you want to go work for an agency and, and, and a systems integrator and stuff like that. But I, I highly recommend it. And that, that's what I did because I stopped wanting to be like, I didn't want to build. I realized, I realized the way that I wanted to leave my fingerprint on the world wasn't an app or a website that had hundreds of millions of people going into it. I wanted to leave my fingerprint by educating as best as I could, because I'm far from infallible. Um, as best as I could on like building what matters, like listening to your users. Like it's, it's the whole, like, you know, I could fish for you or I can teach you to fish. I'd rather teach you to fish because it's fun. It's a lot of fun. That's what it is.